Well, today is World Sepsis Day. Sepsis is often called the hidden killer, according to the CDC. It's the number one cause of deaths in U.S. hospitals, but it's also one of the most preventable diseases. At DC News Now's anchor Chris Flanagan spoke with an expert at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital and to talk about the signs to look for in their conversation is what's going around. That so sepsis is an infection that kind of triggers a cascade of events in a body. So it triggers kind of an extreme response um, that can lead to further tissue damage and organ failure. And so it's a body's abnormal response to an infection. Dr. Yu, who is most at risk for sepsis? It might seem a little counterintuitive, but it's those people who are at risk for infections. So people who are at the extremes of age. So for example, older adults over the age of 65, younger people, so infants and children under the age of one, those who might have chronic medical conditions that put them at risk for infections, people who have a suppressed immune system and might be on chemotherapy, and then also those who have recently had a severe illness or have been hospitalized. Dr. Yu, what are some signs of sepsis that we should be looking out for? So things like shivering, fever or feeling very cold. So someone might say that they have fevers or chills. Also having um, extreme pain or discomfort. So not kind of your usual aches and pains, but something that feels out of the norm. Also having kind of this pale, discolored, clammy skin that is not usual for you. Being sleepy, confused or disoriented and not acting your normal self and then feeling the sensation that like you might pass out or you might die, and then having some shortness of breath or having trouble breathing. So that I kind of went through that acronym sepsis, which can have be an easy way for people to remember the signs and symptoms of sepsis. Dr. Yu, how prevalent is sepsis? And this is one of our campaigns here at Metzor Health is really to make the public aware that sepsis affects so many people. Um, annually, it affects about 1.7 million Americans every year. And we know that out of about 10 cases, eight of those 10 cases start outside of the hospital. So the vast majority of people are out there with an infection and may not know it. Um, and, and because sepsis can develop and progress very rapidly, we want to make sure that people are aware of the early signs and symptoms so that they can come and get emergency care right away. Dr. Yu, great information. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me.